Good evening, you ghost ghouls, goblins, and sexy female vampires. Welcome to Horror Spectacular. Another year, another edition of Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror. And this year's theme, Fear Cannot Be Contained. This year's lineup of mazes include eight mazes. Starting with our new lineup. Insidious, Into the Future, Monstros 2, Nightmares of Latin America. A new participant in the starting lineup, A Quiet Place, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Next, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the legacy of Leatherface. Universal Monsters Internal Blood, The Weekend, The Nightmare Trilogy. And last, and not least, Deadly Exposure, Dead Valley. I'm gonna read pieces here. Like, I haven't seen things just change the bar in this piece before, but this year, I think the instant days for Christmas was released in Jennifer, or was it like last year? I don't remember. It was last year, but they were never done. And the quick white place for Christmas has been released this year. And the Ghost Pictures was released in the Empire was released in the Camp of March. And then it was Universal Thomas and Susan. And that again, though. We can get ready to visit. But it's different. We did quite a lot. Ghost Pictures is for Susan and the Empire was in the Ghost Pictures. This place is like the scares. The Ghostbusters was really a comedy. It's a really scary. I think it was things in the next case you were beside a Ghostbusters in the maze. And Ghostbusters shows me the purpose of the past, but you were the general of all notes for them. Scare well, I suppose. I think this is the thing that's with the Umpomar. I give this maze 2 out of 10. A quiet place wasn't that bad. It felt kind of short, but it was a place where the Walking Dead maze was once located. And the area has kind of been downsized since the opening of Street Secret Life of Pets. I was about to say Street Life of Pets. But the Quiet Place gave ode to the original film, which I like. But I give this maze a 7 out of 10. And did I mention the animal trunks that was used in this maze? Not bad at all. Insidious Into the Fuhrer, I had to admit, I only watched the first original film. Since the, uh, since the release of all these films and I never really kept up with the franchise so I don't know what is going on in the franchise and I don't know which film this is based on but I swear Universal had this maze years ago I know they had it in 2013 they had it but it, it, I also think there's an Insidious maze every year maybe I don't know but I say this maze is probably one of the better mazes it's darky it's creepy they tried to scare me but it didn't work the set pieces and the theme was excellent. 9 out of 10. In the last maze of the upper lot, Monstros 2, it wasn't that bad. A sequel to the original maze. A maze felt the same old, same old. It, didn't, it had its animatronics, but this maze... I don't know, it didn't do it for me. I don't know why. It's not like the previous mazes based on Latin American Supernatural. I think a couple years ago, one of the... It could have been two years ago, one of the scary actors tried to scare me on this maze, but it didn't work. I can't be frightened. Five out of ten. Now, the terror tram, we did not do. Waste of time. Same old. Same old. Same old. Every year. The scare zones this year, I think I only noticed one. Now, there was two shows this year. A Night with Chucky and The Purge, Dangerous Waters. We did not attend The Night of Chucky. But we did attend the purge. It wasn't bad. I wasn't expecting the ending either. Jose, Alex, defensive positions. We need to hide over the wall now. Defensive positions. What is that? Sir, this is not a drill. Who are they? I'm done. Stop telling me. Hey, hey. Let me take a second to tell you something. Uh, on Lone Wolf Adventure TV, I would appreciate it if you guys hit that like, hit that share button, even comment down in the comment section down below. You also can follow me on Instagram. 
I'm not on Twitter or Facebook, just Instagram. So go do it. Do it now. Like Shia LaBeouf says. Just do it. Now for the lower lot. The weekend the Night Moon trilogy was placed where Stranger Things was always placed when it was around. Near the side or back of Transformers. Hmm. Set piece is alright, but the maze was just bland to me. To me, of course. 5 out of 10. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the legacy of Leatherface. I think it's partially based on the original film. And it helped me get rid of the memory of what was Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. Absolutely. Poor garbage. This maze stinks. Like, it stank like it was supposed to be representing uh, rotten corpses. 8 out of 10. To add, this maze is placed in the soundstage that once held the sets of Jurassic Park and Scarface. Dead Exposure, Death Valley, located next to the Revenge of the Mummy. Excellent roller coaster, of course, but the Florida one is better. This maze is a generic one, not really based on anything. Kind of reminds me of a maze from Knott's Berry Farm, but better. Better set designs and way better than that crap Six Flags puts out every year. Zombie Apes? Yeah, Zombie Apes. This maze has zombie primates. Can't beat that. 7 out of 10. I had to give it to Universal Studios for this one. Big props. No pun intended. I actually enjoyed this one. It seemed like a shorter maze. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Universal Monsters Internal Bloodlines. Located near Jurassic World. At least I think it was. I got so confused in the dark. It follows the story of a female descendant of Abraham Van Helsing, who was on the quest with the Bride of Frankenstein's to stop. I, I don't know. It was it Dracula's daughter or the bride, one of the one of his brides? But anyways, this one is a female-centric one. They didn't do Abigail, which I don't know why, but they did do this. But it's whatever. I say past Universal monster mazes have been better. Like Universal Monsters Legends Collide, which I think had a mixture of the Mummy, Dracula, Frankenstein, and the Wolfman. I give this one 6 out of 10. Man, I really wish I would have saw that Dracula on Toe maze. Why not bring back Alien vs. Well, they probably can't bring back Alien vs. Predator. Now it's under Disney. I don't think they can. Why not bring back a, the Mummy? I don't know. But, anyways, more on that later. <laughs> And these are the mazes for this year. They, they was just all right. Um, I feel like Universal is going to have to be a little bit more creative with the mazes. Universal is not just known for Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, Vin Diesel, and doing crazy racing high stories or a bunch of yellow chicklets running around speaking gibberish now. Universal is known for its classic monsters. They need to get more creative with the IPs. You know, shoot, even sprinkle some more Jurassic Park in there. Sprinkle a Jurassic Park maze in there once in a while. It's like they're scared to make Jurassic Park scary. I said this on my other channel. Make Jurassic Park scary again. Don't make it this freaking weird. I don't know. That's what Jurassic Park has been made. I'm calling it Jurassic Park because that's what I know it for. I feel like Jurassic Park's been on the down slope when it comes to free. They just, I don't know, man. I don't want to make this a film rant. But do some more based on your IPs, Universal. I remember back in the day, they got very creative. They probably can't do this no more. But they got very creative back in the day with Halloween Horror on Islands of Adventure. And I think they had a Maximum Carnage maze. I'm not saying use Marvel superheroes. Can't do that no more. At least on this side of the Mississippi. But they got all these damn IPs. Get creative with it. Stop using other people's IPs like Quiet Place, which I didn't mind. But you notice, with the exception of probably three mazes, the rest of them are IPs for other movie studios like A Quiet Place and Ghostbusters and Insidious. But, anyways, that leaves a question though. What does next year hold? The release of Universal Horror Unleashed, located in Area 15 in Las Vegas. What does that have in store for 2025? It should be interesting. 
there's going to be some repeats next year. We all know that. So, who knows? But damn, I can't believe this has actually happened. Universal Studios United Kingdom. British, y'all. It's finally coming. It was a long time coming. And they're going to have their horror attraction there, too. Based on the one in Vegas that's coming up. Hmm. But, like I say, it's been a long time coming with Universal expanding in the U.S. Uh, Halloween Horror was just okay for me this year. I won't stop the tradition. Been doing this since 2012, only missing 2014. And, of course, everyone missed 2020. I didn't buy any merchandise, really. Nor did I look at some of it. But I did try that Stay Puft Marshmallow Man s'mores. It's a graham cracker with chocolate and, of course, a marshmallow. The graham cracker was stale. You know, it's stale when it's too soft. Yeah. But the pineapple cider I had, they sell near Jurassic World, wasn't that bad. It wasn't. But next year will be a big year for Universal. A big year. With two new parks opening up. Hopefully you can get more creative. I believe in you, Universal. I believe y'all can be more creative than what you guys been putting out. 